Hi friends, my name is Holly and I'm the children's librarian at Alamosa Public Library in Alamosa, Colorado. And this is Storytime Online. Let's see what stories we have to share today. It's time to share a story, a story, a story. It's time to share a story, a story today with a little child and a big dog and another little child with a big bear. It's time to share a story, a story today. But first, we always get our bodies ready for a story. Today we're gonna sing this one. Let's call We Clap and Sing Hello. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. We jump and sing hello. Can you jump? We jump and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we jump and sing hello. We laugh and sing hello. We laugh and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we laugh and sing hello. We quietly find a seat. We quietly find a seat with our friends at story time. We quietly find a seat. What? Today, I thought it would be fun to talk about pets. Do you hear my pet making noise? Can you guess what kind of animal my pet is? Maybe we'll get to see him later. I bet you can think of many different kinds of pets. There are lots of animals that would make good pets. Do you have a pet that lives in your home? Or do you know somebody who has a pet? You're right, my pet is a dog. He's barking because he sees some cats outside. Dogs and cats are pets that lots of people have. But today, we're gonna start with a story that's about a little girl who would like to have a particular kind of pet, but she gets offered lots of other options. Let's see what she chooses. This is a story called, I Want a Dog, and it's by John Agee. Here she comes with her wagon walking down the street. And here in the middle, I see a word that says pets. 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 This must be a pet store. Oh, I see some more words on the window. It says Happy Dale Animal Shelter. So this is a place that have lots of pets that need happy homes. She must be going to the animal shelter to adopt a pet. Let's see what kind of pet she's looking to adopt. I bet you can guess because the book is called, I Want a Dog. Welcome to Happy Dale Animal Shelter. Are you looking for a porcupine? A weasel? I've got an adorable armadillo. No, thank you. I want a dog. A dog is an excellent choice. A dog makes an excellent pet. But wouldn't you prefer this awesome anteater? No. Do you think an anteater would make an excellent pet? Hmm. How about this baby baboon? It doesn't go wolf, but it chases a ball, just like a dog. I don't want a baby baboon. How about this python? It doesn't have legs, but it slithers over when you call it. I don't want a python. How 
about this frog. It can hide a bone and it barks at passing cars just like a dog. That's not true. Frogs don't bark or hide bones. And besides, I want a dog. Look what I found, a goldfish. It wags its tail and knows how to play dead, just like a dog. Mister, that goldfish is not playing dead. Oh dear. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring you a dead goldfish. That's okay, I don't want a goldfish, I want a dog. Very well, wait right here. I'll get the dog. It's hard to talk with a snake wrapped around your mouth. Do you think he's going to bring a dog? I don't know. Here is the dog. Mister, this is not a dog. This is a lizard dressed up as a dog. Yes, you're right. But you could train it to go woof. I don't want to train a lizard to go woof. I want a dog that goes woof. Would you consider this albatross? This kangaroo? This darling wombat? No, no, and no! Excuse me, mister, I have one simple question. Do you even have a dog? No, I don't. Well, then I'm leaving right now. Wait, before you go, would you please tell me what's so special about a dog? Sure, a dog is loyal, loving, smart, cuddly, goofy, courageous, and it's the best friend you could ever have in the world. Actually, I might have the perfect pet. It's not a dog, but it sounds exactly like what you described. No, stop. Please don't bother. I think he's going to bring the dog this time. This is Lucinda. She eats 20 pounds of fish every day and needs to swim in at least 3,000 cubic feet of salt water. So what do you think? Do you know what kind of animal Lucinda is? She's a seal. Do you think a seal would make a great pet? She eats 20 pounds of fish every day and needs to swim in 3,000 cubic feet of salt water? Hmm. So what do you think? I'll take her. <laughs> wow, who ever heard of an animal shelter that doesn't have a dog? Hmm? But that's okay, dogs are overrated. And do you think she made a good choice? Would a seal make a good pet? Pets are animals that we take into our homes to be part of our family. We give them a safe place to live. We give them healthy food to eat and clean water to drink. And we play things with them that they like to play with us. A seal would be a fun pet if you had 20 pounds of fish to feed it every day and a big saltwater pool. You know, I have a pet. You heard him earlier. He was barking because he's an animal called a dog. Would you like to meet him? Maybe he'll come say hello. Goosey, Goose, come. Come here, come say hello. 
dog. You heard him bark. He's named Goose because he has this nice long neck that makes him kind of remind me of a bird called a goose. So we call him Goosey. But he does kind of look like a seal when he's like that. Okay, Goosey, go lay back down. We're going to have some more stories. Oh, speaking of baths, that's another thing that you can do with your pet to keep them healthy and safe. Some animals need a good bath, like my dog Goose. Some animals need to live in the water. And this is a song about a pet called a turtle. This is how you make a turtle with your hand in sign language. You hold up your fist and you put your little thumb on top. That's going to be his head. And then you put a shell on top of his back. Do you know what a turtle looks like? I'll show you before we sing. Let's see, a turtle, if I was going to draw one, I might do a half of a circle like this, and then I'll put a tummy on it. And a turtle has a little head that sticks out of its shell, and it has a tail that can stick out of its shell, and it has four legs and feet. One. Two, three, four. A turtle. The shell is hard, and the turtle can pull his head and his legs and his tail inside to keep himself safe, kind of like he's carrying a room on his back. If you were going to color a turtle, what color would you use? Let's see, I have some markers here. Which color would you use? If I was going to color this turtle, I think I would use this color today. This is a light green. I might use a light green for my turtle's head and his legs and his tail. That kind of look like a turtle? Okay, back to our song about a turtle and the bath. So make your little turtle, there's his head, stick it out a little bit and put a shell on top. And the song goes like this. I had a little turtle, I named him Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. Go, 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 go. He ate up all the soap. And now he's sick in bed with bubbles in his throat. <clears throat> bubbles, 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 pop. Bubbles, 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 pop. If we were in the story room together, I would go pop, 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 pop on your noses. Hmm. So a turtle, a dog, maybe a seal could make great pets. I bet you could think of some more animals that would make great pets. But can you think of an animal that would make a terrible pet? Some animals just aren't really meant to be pets. I think maybe a hippopotamus would not be a great pet for me. Too big for my house. Maybe a lion would not be a great pet. It would be too dangerous. Have you seen a lion's teeth? This is a story called Children Make Terrible Pets. Wait a second. Children Make Terrible Pets by Peter Brown. He wrote the words and drew the pictures. Children make terrible pets. I think this is going to be a fun book just by looking at it, don't you? Children make terrible pets. La la la. Hmm? One morning, Lucy was practicing her twirls when she noticed she was being watched. Hello, who's there? 
I can smell you behind those bushes, so just come out. Squeak! What kind of animal was in the bushes? It was a child. When her secret admirer scurried into the open, Lucy could not believe her eyes. Oh my gosh, you are the cutest critter in the whole forest. Squeak! So Lucy brought the critter home to show her mom. Mom, look what I found outside. I call him Squeaker because he makes funny sounds. Squeak, see, isn't he the cutest? Can I keep him? Please. Lucille Beatrice Bear, don't you know that children make terrible pets? Aw, oh, come on, Mom. Look how sweet he is. You won't be any trouble, will you, boy? Squeak. Oh, all right. You can keep him on one condition. Squeaker is your responsibility. I will not take care of him for you. Thanks, Mom. Squeaker is going to be the best pet ever. You'll see. Lucy and Squeaker were inseparable. They played together. They ate together. They napped together. Lucy and Squeaker did everything together, but it wasn't all fun and games. He was impossible to potty train. Squeak. Is this the kind of potty that children use? That reminds me of a litter box, like kitties that live inside use. I don't think he wants to use it. He ruined the furniture. Squeak! <laughs> he caused problems wherever he went. We do not throw food at tea parties. Squeak! And just when Lucy thought things couldn't get any worse, Squeaker disappeared. Squeaker? Lucy checked the usual hiding spots, but her pet was nowhere to be found. Here, Squeaker! Come here, boy. Squeaker! Squeaker! Where are you? Lucy had almost given up hope when her sensitive nose caught a whiff of her squeaker. Sniff, sniff. Lucy followed squeaker's scent this way and that across the entire forest until finally, she found Squeaker. But something had changed. Squeaker didn't seem like a pet anymore. Squeak? Squeak. Woof. Squeak. Lucy knew what she had to do. Goodbye, Squeaker. Squeak. Lucy had a lot to think about on her walk home. I'm really going to miss that little fella. Squeaker belongs with his family. I guess some critters just aren't meant to be pets. Maybe it's all for the best. By the end of the day, Lucy had learned one very valuable lesson. You were right, Mom. Children do make terrible pets. They really are the worst. The end. What do you think she's thinking?
What do you think? The end. I love this to be a funny book. Thanks for sharing stories about pets with me today. But before we go, I wanted to introduce you to my newest pet. I'll give you some clues. My newest pet is very old, like one billion years old. My newest pet can live underwater or on land. My newest pet does not need to eat and does not need to drink. And my newest pet A pet rock. Well, that's a silly thing to say, but it is fun to pretend that your favorite rock is your pet rock. You don't need to feed it. You don't need to give it a bath, but you do need to take care of it and you can play with it. This is my newest favorite rock. I have lots of pet rocks. You can have a pet rock that's big, as big as your hand, or you can have a pet rock that's smaller. Maybe it will fit in your pocket. Some pet rocks are smooth, like this one, or my newest pet rock. And some pet rocks can be rough and bumpy, like this one, or this one. I found these rocks outside. I bet you could find a pet rock outside sometime today. I'm going to make my pet rock have an eye and a snout. I'm just going to use a marker. I'm going to use the black marker from my pack. Let's see. I'm going to give my pet rock an eye, some eyelashes. You see that little eye? I'm going to give my pet rock a snout. My pet rock isn't really a certain kind of animal. Actually, a rock isn't an animal at all, but I'm just pretending. And look, a little mouth for my pet rock. Maybe this pet rock could live at the library when we get to see each other again in the story room. My pet rock doesn't have a name yet. I thought maybe you guys could help me with that. If you have a good name for my pet rock, ask your grown-up if you can send an email to Miss Holly. I'll put my email linked below. And you can send me in an email your name idea for my newest pet rock. And then next time we have story time online, I'll put all of the names in a bucket and I'll write them down and put them in and I'll close my eyes and pull out one name, and that's what we'll name my new pet rock. So I hope you come back to see me next time. I'm gonna put my pet rock over here. Pet rocks are very patient. They make great pets. But now it's time for us to sing goodbye. So we sing one that goes like this. See you later, alligator, in a wild crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, sweet baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly, goodbye. See you next time.